A Howland business just closed at 6 o'clock. Anthony's Family Pharmacy had started as a dream and recently had been busier than ever. Today I talked with the owner about his difficult decision and who's really to blame. I'm so sorry we're losing you. Yeah, it's, it's not what I want to do um, at all. Anthony Fasacheca was running his business for the last day. Anthony's Family Pharmacy. And one customer story completely explains the reason. I just had a guy in here today who got a three-month supply of a diabetes medication. I got paid a total of $1.12. Even though Anthony was filling 1,000 prescriptions a month, better than he's ever done, it didn't translate into more profit. Fasacheca said he was losing money on about 30% of the prescriptions because of the pharmacy benefit manager, or PBMs. So they'll say, hey, Dave, you're, you went into Anthony's Family Pharmacy. You got a prescription filled. Anthem, um, that'll be 30 bucks. And they turn around and they go, Anthony, here's 10 bucks. So they pocket that middle 20. Money that could make a huge difference in his small business. Anthony and his father started Anthony's Family Pharmacy in 2014. His dad passed away four years later. Their approach was building one-on-one -on -one relationships, adding personal touches. Some people I feel like I let down because I know there are some people that kind of rely on some things that I was doing to, to keep an eye on their medication and, and making sure they're taking the right pills at the right time. Most people are just worried about their copay and have no idea if the pharmacist is making money. Walgreens has bought Anthony's leftover drugs in files, and he was telling customers personally. Why? Just tough to make ends meet with the way that we're getting paid from insurance companies. Oh, 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 oh yeah. okay. Breaks my heart, but I got one here of her standing up, too, that's fun. On his final day, Fawcett Cheka was showing customers pictures of his one-year-old daughter. He already had peace that his father would approve of the tough business decision. You know, we gave this a good shot, but with all the stress and, you know, financial instability of this business, I never know how much money's coming in because of the way it's run, and I think that he would understand and want me to, to do what's right. Anthony doesn't know what the next direction is for him right now. He still has a heart to help people.